All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Effective punch there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Nurmago Medov gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Nice punch land over the top. It's okay. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. All right, single collar tie now. Big body kick lands. Throws the right hand there. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from Jim throwing that kick. Takedown defense holds up. Tags him with the left. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. Oh! Oh, big left hook there! Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Great punch. So the numbers continuing to pile up here. 33 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Look at the turtle in that kick. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Beautiful strike. Under two minutes to go. That was a thudding leg kick. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Nice loose punch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop him. John, stop him. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Oh, nice land there by Nermago Medov. When he made his UFC debut in 2012, he wasn't striking like that. No, he did not look like this. And that's a credit to his coaches, not only at the American Kickboxing Academy, but at Eagles MMA over in Dagestan. He lands a big knee to the body. Ooh, big shot land. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Watch knees to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, boy, tight clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Dig and kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, and he lands another punch there, DC. Plenty more where that came from, or so you would think. The accuracy is a sight to behold. Ten seconds to go. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Nice punch there by Nurmagomedov. Five 
minutes in the books. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. That's a big strike right there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Way to sneak that elbow around the side of the bar. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more balls. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming. And when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Nice punch here. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch from the clinch.
15 seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. All right, round three coming up next. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is in. Oh, nice elbows by him now. Insane to see a guy throw more than one elbow at a time. But why not? They're landing. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, collar tie. Going to the body there with the right kick. Another massive body kick land. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Boy, tie plump. got to check these low leg kicks. End of the clinch. Now let's see if they're going to try to find a takedown or watch for him to employ a dirty boxing strategy. Battling for hooks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice diversity in the attack. Effective strike there by Nurmagomedov. Got the single collar tie. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, perfect combination. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Another shot lands upstairs. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh. <laughs> Just over three minutes now to go. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Head kick. Back to the jab now, no good. You're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Lands the right hand. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Elbow now to the head. That one landed by Nurago Medov. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's doing his work. He has to be attacking that cut. John, I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. They can pay for it. Oh, single collar tie here. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Ooh. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And then he lands a nice elbow. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice leg kick. And he caught the kick. Alright, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Big head kick lands. Nice punch lands over the top. Final seconds of round three. Big kick lands. A lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if we can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, single collar tie now. Ooh, what a punch. Just missed with the left there. Liver kick. Single collar tie now. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off his strikes. Head kick lands. Nurmago Menov gets touched by that kick to the body. Right hand punches the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big leg kick land. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Good stick. And they separate. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch in the clinch. And they separate. Oh, beautiful one-two punch. Blocks the shot. single collar tie. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting act. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Beautiful leg kick throw. Good punch land. Big body kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. So a near-perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down. Persistence, pain, and that's what we saw 
with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got some fitness. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nurmagomedov. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nurmagomedov gets hit with a kick. Sneaky head kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Back and forth we go. Checks the leg kick. How good is that right hand? Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, what a job of home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it from high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting. What a takedown. about this fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Nice strike. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Left hand punch with the clinch. Way to hide that leg kick. Visibly limping here. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Left hand punch with the clinch. Marco Medos uppercut, but that one is blocked. Just misses there with the left. Nurmagomedov gets in the clinch yet again. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. A strong hook to the head there by Nurmagomedov. Again, back into this position. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Head kick. Nice straight punch. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent. Defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three. At his time to try to overwhelm him to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. It's such a fast leg kick. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Beautiful movement. Hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hip back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attack an arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's in there deep. There you go. Submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent.
with the tap, and he wins the fight. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop for this contest. At two minutes, 58 seconds of round number five, declaring the winner by tap out, Habib the Eagle Nevada so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You